We want to begin this hour with severe weather from overnight. An update for you. Tornado warnings and severe thunderstorm warnings were triggered across the tri-state. As of now, it appears the worst of the damage is in northeast of Boyce County. Meteorologist Joe Bird spent the morning there. He's doing live reports for us. Hopefully you saw those. He joins us now with all the details. Joe. Northeast Dubois County was issued uh, just after 1230 on Eastern time. Now it was radar indicated rotation, meaning no spotter reported seeing a funnel or a tornado. However, after arriving in Dubois County, it was apparent this was not caused by just a damaged gust wind. A husband and wife said they heard the roaring of the winds and their house began to shake. The winds ripped many of their trees apart, some totally gone. Even as strong as the winds that were to bend even a metal power that was a metal tower rather that was supporting a TV antenna. Then just minutes to the east of their home and even worse seen with a roof that was ripped off a house. Uh, that family only making it to the basement stairs before the storm hit. But thankfully the husband and wife who lived in the home since 1980 are safe just shaken. And then just yards away in another home was Mick Jarbo who says his over 100 year home has always kept him safe during storms. I've never been worried about that house uh, in a storm, but this one just, it just something didn't feel right. My uncle's roof there, I, I heard it hit the top of the house. I didn't know what it was. I just heard the house getting beat by something. And uh, yeah, we were up there. Everyone we spoke with today said they and their family are safe and know of no one that was actually hurt. The National Weather Service out of Louisville is surveying the damage from the Dubois, Orange, and Washington counties areas today. A preliminary report from the team says it was an EF1 tornado with peak winds of 90 miles per hour, but that could change as the survey continues on this afternoon. We'll have more about that coming up tonight on Eyewitness News Live at 5.